Hi lovers, welcome to Vlogtober, day 23. Today we are gonna be playing this or that again, but this time it's corset edition. I welcome you to all play this game on your own channels as well. All the questions will be in the description below. I wanted to make this kind of like pretty general, so not all of the questions will apply to me, but that's okay. And some are just being silly. Feel free to add your own if you decide to do this tag. All right, let's get started. So the first one is overbust or underbust? Starting off strong, I see. Okay. Um, 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 um. I'm gonna have to choose underbust because right now I'm waist training. So I prefer my underbust to waist train. But I do love an overbust because I don't have to wear a bra. I'll stick with my answer. Underbust it is. Number two is satin or PVC. I don't have any PVC corsets, so I'm going to have to say satin. Also, I like the satin finish versus the PVC. I'm not really into the PVC, if you could say. So yeah. Number three is mesh or cotton. Well, they're both pretty breathable. Of course, mesh is more breathable than cotton because it's holes. I'm gonna go with mesh, definitely mesh. Number four is leather or velvet. It's a good question. I have neither leather nor velvet corsets, but if I had to choose, I would go with velvet just because I like the way it feels. A leather corset isn't my style. I'll just say that. Number five is low hip or high hip. Hmm, so when it's a high hip, my long line torso lower belly would pop out a little. But if it's a low hip, sometimes it just like really digs in to my hip. I would prefer the high hip. I would prefer the belly protrusion versus it digging into my hips and causing a nightmare. Number six is a busk clasp or a zipper. Well, all my corsets are busks, as you can see. I would love a zipper. I've been told that they're just wonderful if you get the right kind of zipper. I'm gonna say zipper. I prefer a zipper, even though I don't have any corsets that have zippers. Number seven is solid colors or patterns. Personally, I like solid colors because I can just match them a lot easier with my outfits. There are some really beautiful corset patterns out there, but yeah, I'm just gonna stick with solid colors and be boring. Number eight is self-lacing or having someone lace you. I'm gonna say self-lacing. I have had people lace me in the past and I just, I'm not a fan of it. Number nine is four inch reduction or six inch reduction. I'll definitely always choose a six inch reduction corset. My torso is pretty squishy. I have like a large squishy uh, waist. So it's easier for me to get that six inch reduction on of course days when I'm, you know, lacing up correctly and doing all my waist training, you know, stuff and blah, 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 eating correctly, all that stuff. So yeah, a six inch reduction for sure. Number 10 is hip ties or no hip ties. Um, I'm gonna go with no hip ties because my underbust, the, my waist training corset, that has hip ties and honestly, like the laces are just really freaking annoying. Like I get the whole idea, you know, making the hip spring, you know, a lot wider, especially for us who have wider hips, but they're just so freaking annoying. So no hip ties. Number 11 is a waist training corset or a costume corset. That's easy. Waist training corset for sure. Number 12 is cupped ribs or straight ribs. I'm gonna go with cupped ribs because, I mean, I usually do the hourglass kind of thing. I don't think this is completely straight. Maybe it is. Maybe that's why I always have issues. This is uh, my pink overbust from Corset Story. It's a waist training corset, but I mean, yeah. Okay, back to the question. Cupped ribs or straight ribs? Let's just go with cupped ribs. I don't think I have any corsets that are primarily cupped ribs. Like they're, as you can see, like pretty straight. Number 13 is square hip or rounded rib. Well, personally, I do not have square hips. At least I think I don't. Maybe I do. But I usually go for a rounded hip corset because I prefer the hourglass silhouette. 
Okay, number 14 is corset liner or bare skin. Well, I know I should choose corset liner, but I don't know guys, I just like bare skin. I like the feeling of my corset on my bare skin. I don't have to like pull things down and pull things up and I just, bare skin. I'm sorry corset lovers, that's probably the wrong answer, but oh well. Okay, number 15 is lace up tight for three hours during the day or sleep in it for eight hours very loose. Well, I usually do both, but I'm going to say lace up tight for three hours during the day just because right now I am waist training. So I just feel like wearing it for eight hours very loose wouldn't really do anything. Although, the reason why I started wearing my corset to go to bed was because I was told many, many years ago that when you wear your corset while you sleep, it's really good because during the night our bodies, you know, shift and grow and all that stuff and you're kind of like positioning your body like this is how you're going to grow. This is how you're going to shift with the corset. But I still choose the former. Lace up tight for three hours during the day. Okay, number 16 is show off your corset or stealth. I mean, obviously it depends on what corset I'm wearing. If I'm wearing an underbust, 100% show it off. If I'm wearing my, you know, ugly underbust that's been with me through thick and thin, definitely hide it. Okay, fine, I'll show off my corset. I like showing off my corset, okay? Number 17, grommet or eyelet? Well, technically they're the same thing, but I say grommets, and those are the silver, little holes in the back that we put our laces through, just in case you were wondering. I do have a lot of people on here that don't corset train. That's why sometimes I'll explain it a little further. So just FYI for that. Number 18 is modesty panel or no modesty panel. I hate modesty panels. They just get in the way so freaking much. Like this one, the modesty panel, I wanted to cut it off so bad, but I feel like if I try to sell this corset or you know give it away during my eventual giveaway, I will regret that because you're deforming the corset, so. But if I had to choose, if I could choose, I would say no modesty panel. I don't care about the lace burnings. Burn my back all you want <laughs> with the corset laces. With That's it, that's it. Okay, number 19 is plastic bones or steel bones. That's easy, steel bones, 100%. I don't think there are any like real corsets that have plastic bones. Maybe there are, maybe there are like really tough plastic bones, I don't know. Number 21, hourglass silhouette or slim silhouette? Like I said before, I prefer the hourglass silhouette, so there's that answer. Number 22, off the rack corset or custom corset? Well, right now, all of my corsets, which I have, what, four corsets, they're all off-the-rack corsets. I've been told multiple times that I need to get a custom corset already. But I think the thing is, is that I feel like if I shell out all the money for the custom corset and then, I, and then like I gain weight, I'll be pissed at myself. So I'm just like using that as an excuse, I guess, and saying like, okay, once I close my off-the-rack corsets, then I'll get... A custom corset but I mean who wouldn't prefer a custom corset did I answer that question let's move on anyway number 23 is underbust or a cincher so cinchers are like shorter corsets and um, underbust are they're both underbust but the underbust corset is a little longer than a cincher corset just for those who don't know I'll answer that question with underbust corset simply because I already have a long torso as is. I just feel like a cincher corset, corset would give me horrible muffin top and horrible muffin bottom. I don't know. Okay, number 24 is floating modesty panel or sewn in modesty panel. Well, like I said before, I don't prefer a modesty panel at all, but if I had to choose which with these two, I would say a floating modesty panel. I feel like it would be easier for me to kind of like tuck in when I'm lacing up. I should get, next time I get a corset, I'm going to look for a floating modesty panel for sure. Number 25, overbust or half bust? So a half bust, for those who don't know, and I'm kind of just learning about this, is it kind of goes like right above your nipples or right below your nipples. I think it's right above or right at. I'm not sure. 
Either way, I would choose an overbust all day, every day, simply because... Did you guys see that? You're very... That's That was rude. We we're filming and you're acting like that. No more sitting down on mama's lap. <sighs> she irritates me when she does that shit. Where was I? Yeah, overbust or half bust. Overbust, guys. Overbust. 26. Amazon corset or orchard corset? This is just a silly silly question. Some people like to say that orchard corset is, you know, just as good as Amazon corsets, but I will choose orchard corset over Amazon corsets because most of my corsets are from orchard corset and I have that like, I know what I'm getting kind of relationship with orchard corset versus Amazon corset. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what I would get. So no to Amazon corsets. Number 27 is bunny ears or inverted loops. I'm most familiar with bunny ears. Uh, that's when you pull the top laces, like when you have your two loops at the back and you pull the top ones and that tightens the top and then the bottom part of the loop tightens the bottom. And then inverted is the other way around. You pull the top part of the loop and it tightens the bottom and then vice versa. So I'm more familiar with bunny ears versus inverted. I think I would get too confused with inverted lacing or inverted loops rather. So yeah, bunny ears it is. Chevron lacing or crisscross lacing? Okay, again, I'm more familiar with crisscross lacing. That's all I've pretty much ever known, ever done with my corsets. So I'll go with crisscross lacing. However, chevron lacing, it does look more aesthetic. It's kind of like, how do I put the, just go on YouTube and search chevron lacing Lucy corsetry. She gives great examples. Okay, uh, number 29, waist training corsets or tight lacing corsets. So there are, there is a bit of a difference and I believe it's that waist training corsets have more bones in them, like more steel bones in them because you're wearing them for longer periods of time and they have like more sturdier materials because again, you're wearing them for longer periods of time. Whereas tight lacing corsets usually, not always, don't have as many bones and don't have as sturdy material. Maybe there's like lacing involved, like really like pretty lacing because you want a tight lace for like a photo shoot or something like that. That's what I'm assuming. Um, but to answer the question, waist training corsets. Uh, and then lastly, number 30, daily waist training or every other day training. Currently, I waist train every other day, but on good weeks, I will waist train daily. So I don't really know how to answer this question. I prefer daily waist training, so I'll go with daily waist training. But right now, like, I'm doing it every other day, so. Anyways, guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like, and I'll see you all tomorrow. I love you till the end. Ciao.